Hey everyone, welcome back to channel. If you're using Ubuntu and want to keep your system safe, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into some basic security tips that every beginner should know. Let's get started. First things first, why should you care about Ubuntu system security? Well, even though Ubuntu is known for being secure out of the box, no system is completely immune to threats, whether it's protecting your personal data, preventing unauthorized access, or just keeping your system running smoothly, a little effort goes a long way. Think of it like locking your front door. You might live in a safe neighborhood, but you still lock your door, right? The same goes for your Ubuntu system. The first and easiest step to securing your Ubuntu system is keeping it up to date. Updates often include security patches that fix vulnerabilities. Here's how you do it. First run the sudo apt update. This command is a fundamental command used in Ubuntu and other Debian-based Linux distributions to update the list of available packages and their versions from the repositories configured on your system. It connects to the software repositories and downloads the latest information about available packages and their versions. This ensures your system knows about the newest software updates, security patches, and bug fixes. Sudo apt update only updates the package list. It doesn't make any changes to your installed software. After running sudo apt update to refresh the package list, sudo apt upgrade downloads and installs the latest versions of all the packages currently installed on your system. This includes security patches, bug fixes, and feature updates. To ensure your system stays secure without manual intervention, you can enable unattended security updates. This command sudo is used to install a package called unattended upgrades on your Ubuntu system. This package enables automatic unattended installation of security updates and other important updates for your system. Install the unattended upgrades package if it's not already installed and run the configuration program. When you run this command, it opens a text-based interactive dialog in the terminal that guides you through the configuration of the unattended upgrades package. The main question in the dialog is whether you want to automatically download and install stable updates. You can choose yes. Enable automatic updates. Default for security updates. No for disable. And in automatic updates, You can also set up set up two-factor authentication. This module enables two-factor authentication 2FA using Google Authenticator or other compatible time-based one-time password TOTP apps. It integrates with the Linux PAM system to add an extra layer of security to your system. After installation, Users will need to provide both their password and a time-based one-time password, TOTP, generated by an authenticator app like Google Authenticator to log in. For a complete step-by-step -step guide on setting this up, be sure to check out detailed videos or articles that walk you through the entire process. These resources can provide visual demonstrations and additional tips to help you configure everything smoothly. Next up, let's talk about the firewall. Ubuntu comes with a tool called UFW, Uncomplicated Firewall. It's super easy to use and can block unwanted traffic. You can enable it using this command. There is also the GUFW 
graphical, uncomplicated firewall is a user-friendly graphical interface for managing UFW, which is a simple front end for IP tables, the default firewall management tool in Linux. UFW makes it easy for users to configure and manage firewall settings on Ubuntu and other Debian-based systems without needing to use the command line. There are many videos and articles on how to use UFW. Check them out and learn how to use it. You can also disable unnecessary services. Running unnecessary services can expose you to risks. To check what's running, use this command. If you find something you don't need, stop it or permanently disable it. When you stop a service, it's a good idea to use your system for a few minutes before fully disabling it. This allows you to check for any issues or unexpected behavior. If problems arise, you can simply reboot your system and the service will start up again automatically. However, if you stop and disable a critical service, you risk making your system unbootable or unstable. Always avoid disabling services unless you're absolutely sure they're safe to turn off. When in doubt, leave it enabled. Just replace the word stop with disable to disable the service. App Armor, Application Armor, is a Linux security module, LSM, that provides mandatory access control to restrict programs' capabilities and limit their access to system resources. It is designed to enhance system security by confining individual applications to a set of predefined rules, reducing the potential damage from vulnerabilities or, or exploits. For example, if a web server like Apache is confined by an app armor profile, it won't be able to access files outside its allowed directories, even if an attacker exploits a vulnerability in the server. If App Harmor is inactive, you can enable it by running the commands I just showed you enable and then start. For advanced users, App Armor profiles can be customized for more precise control over application permissions. For more details on profiles and other settings, refer to the App Armor man page, articles, or YouTube videos. And that's it. Those were some simple but effective security tips to keep your Ubuntu system safe. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more tech tips. Got any security tips of your own? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay secure.